Steve Wright, S-T-E-V-E-W-R-I-G-H-T. And what happened here tonight, sir? Uh, tonight we responded to a residential um, home, two stories, with a fire in the kitchen. The firefighters made an aggressive, quick attack and put the fire out and checked for extension. A small amount of extension right above the fire. They found it, extinguished it, checked the bedrooms and, and the rest of the house, made sure nobody was in there and everybody was safe. And uh, now we're uh, finishing up and we'll be done shortly here, but it, it's gonna be returned in a safe condition. We've responded to a lot of kitchen fires. This was particularly smoky. I mean, it was still smoky when I pulled up. So um, were there other ignitables in that area or were they just kind of standing around and waiting for the fire? Well, more and more in this day and age, there's more plastics in all the finishes. So what you saw, the, the grayish, yellowish, brownish smoke is was most likely plastics, polymers, and it does get sooty and, and nasty. Um, that's normal in these days for fire conditions. Uh, and the um, status of the house and as far as residents go, Red Cross or anything, are they? Uh, the the occupant uh, didn't request Red Cross. They have their own ability to take care of themselves. Uh, we offered it. and. Uh, the, the house, we're going to ask them not to stay here tonight. So they, can, they can evaluate in the morning with their insurance. Um, overall estimate, uh, a description, if you would, of the damage, even if it's smoke, and um, overall. Well, the, the damage is to uh, uh, coverings and, and uh, cabinetry and, and smoke damage throughout the house. And the damage is going to be around $50,000, contents $50,000 uh, property. Was there a situation where they attempted to put it out themselves or did they get the right thing to get out and call? They did the right thing and they exited the home. Uh, we're not sure on if they, at this point I'm not sure on if they tried to extinguish it themselves, uh, but they exited the home when we arrived there was a fire in the kitchen and uh, our, our uh, firefighters were able to advance on the fire and put it out themselves. Do you know uh, how many people were in the home and if so, what the relationship uh, I know there was two adults for sure. Uh, I don't know what what they were doing or the whereabouts. Uh, I'm not sure what they were. I'm not sure what they were cooking or if they were cooking. It could have been a, something else. There's a, there's a large injuries. There was a gentleman getting checked out by fire officials. Well, the gentleman uh, th that was the owner of the home or the occupant of the home. Uh, we just uh, wanted to offer him our assistance, check him out, make sure he's okay because he's been sitting outside the house. We weren't sure if he had inhaled smoke or not, but uh, the way he looked, he could have been just shocked. But anytime we see somebody that, that looks a little bit down, we want to make sure they're okay before we leave. So we're really just doing a welfare check on him.